autism prevalence. In 2020, the CDC reported that approximately 1 in 54 children in the US is diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder, according to 2016 data. 1 in 34 boys identified with autism. 1 in 144 girls identified with autism. Boys are four times more likely to be diagnosed with autism than girls. Most children were still being diagnosed after age 4, though autism can be reliably diagnosed as early as age 2. 31% of children with AST have an intellectual disability, 25% are in the borderline range and 44% have IQ scores in the average to above average range. Minority groups tend to be diagnosed later and less often. Early intervention affords the best opportunity to support healthy development and deliver benefits across the lifespan. We describe recent trends in the frequency of ASD in the United States based on four types of data sourcing. Epidemiologic studies, special education, child counts, and national surveys based on parental reports. For purposes of this review of ASD prevalence among children in the United States which focuses on the year 2000 to 2012, Changes in the prevalence of ASD during this period cannot be readily explained by the evolution of diagnostic criteria. Though the gradual adoption and increasing application of diagnostic criteria introduced in the 1990s could have affected prevalence trends during the 2000 to 2012 period. The increasing trend in the rate of ASD observed in the SSI program for children is consistent with trends in the prevalence estimated of ASD in the general population. The consistency observed across all the data sources supports a finding that the trends observed in the SSI program are not unexpected. Intervention and supports Early intervention can improve learning, communication and social skills as well as underlying brain development. Applied behavior analysis and therapies based on its principles are the most researched and commonly used behavioral interventions of autism. Many children affected by autism also benefit from other interventions such as speech and occupational therapy. Developmental regression or loss of skills such as language and social interests affect around 1 in 5 children who will go on to be diagnosed with autism and typically occurs between age 1 and 3. Caregivers and families On average, autism costs an estimated $60,000 a year through childhood with the bulk of the cost in special services and lost wages related to increased demands on one or both parents. Mothers of children with ASD, who tend to serve as the child's case manager and advocate, are less likely to work outside the home. On average, they work fewer hours per week and earn 56% less than mothers of children with no health limitations and 35% less than mothers of children with other disabilities or disorders.